simply couldn't wait to talk about this artwork. I tried to, but I just couldn't. Um, this is an example of a sketch that is completely unplanned, turning out to be better than my planned artworks. I didn't even do a mood board for this one. I just started with the head like I usually do, and I hoped that the reference I had would eventually guide into something better. So, because this is just a sketch, um, I ended up not speeding it up quite as quickly as I usually do, but I had a few references I wanted to try to work off of, and I ended up going for this one that's kind of a sitting pose in a way. Or more, kneeling's a better word. Um, and I had to keep resizing. I, I literally went into this with zero plan and had no idea if it was going to work or not. So, I, I almost didn't do the guides right either. I really just completely winged it, which is unusual for me, but I, I'm lucky that this turned out as good as it did. I also placed the breast higher than I usually do, and that's because I didn't put the guides. So I ended up having to fix it later. I went for kind of like a, a draping shirt. Uh, I might end up having to fix it and change what it is later because I'm not quite satisfied with how the, uh, the outfit looks, but I'll figure it out. So I had to focus on the knees, which is uh, really important for uh, a kneeling artwork. You want the knees to be present. Um, I think my issue was I covered it up later though, so that's kind of rough. So this is about the point in the artwork where I decide that the character is going to be Ina from Hollow Live. So I ended up erasing the larger breasts and making them more small and petite. And now I'm drawing the guide for the face. Um, I'm going with the larger eyes as opposed to narrower eyes because large eyes are cute and we want characters to be cute. If you want characters to be cute, say it in the comments. If you're silent, you hate cute characters. I'm just messing around, you don't need to do that. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps out a whole lot. Um, now that we're here to talk about the hair, you notice how I said in my last video that you want to treat hair almost like a liquid. And I ended up doing that for it here because the hair is going to be wrapping around the head and the arm of the character. So I ended up drawing the ears a bit later and the, um, I guess, I guess that's a tentacle that comes off of the hair with Ina. I'm actually not sure. They're kind of squid-esque, but I really like them. They're very cute in my opinion. Ended up drawing the hair in kind of like a, a bob or a bun, which is, uh, adorable. I got the reference from another artist who I'm a big fan of in the hall I've seen. I actually don't know how to pronounce their name, so I really can't help you there. <laughs> My bad. But now we're adding the base color so I can plan out the lighting of the artwork. Um, I believe my first pass of the line art, not line art, sorry, the lighting I didn't quite care for and ended up changing it later. But uh, it, it wasn't half bad. Man, it's so satisfying to go back and watch yourself uh, fill in and color. I've always been a big fan of uh, watching people color things, so it's kind of nice to go back through your own video and watch yourself do it. Because once you're doing it yourself, you're not really thinking, you're just kind of doing, it's almost instinct. So now we have the base colors, and now I'm going to start adding some shading. I'm filling in all the gaps here. 
adding kind of some see-through to the uh, to the top a bit, some light reflections in the hair. Now I add a multiply layer to point out the lighting, and this is only my first pass of the lighting. I ended up not going with it in the end, but uh, it was an interesting idea. I almost went for like blinds of a window, but I ended up changing my mind because like I said in the beginning, I had no plan and it ended up not going the way that I thought it went, but it ended up actually turning out pretty good. I added some tonal curve and some post-processing to make it look more like the finished artwork. So yeah, I go for some color balance to kind of fix up the colors to be more how I like them. I ended up changing some things because I didn't end up liking the lighting and I just kind of light carved something brand new and something that I thought might have been a little more interesting. If you guys like the previous shading, you're allowed to say that just because maybe I don't agree, it doesn't matter because art and composition all that, it's very subjective and if you like the other one more, that's totally fine. So now we have some kind of almost dramatic lighting, very uh, moody. I like uh, moody artworks, they're very fun. Add some rim light, some blue to the side, change the level correction a bit, make it more vivid, add some shading to the eyes, making it look real nice. And here pretty soon we're gonna get into where I accidentally made something so so I wasn't expecting it to look as good as it did. It's, uh, I really like it and I can't wait for it to come up so I can talk about it. Added some uh, loose strands of hair and some shine in the eyes. Now I'm adding some reflections and some water because I decided for some reason to, to make it a, a water um, scene. So I, I'm probably going to have to draw like water on the character at some point too, make the clothes look a little more wet. So this was my first idea was to kind of have like pillars coming out of the water and make it kind of almost uh, m mystical or industrial. But after doing it, I, uh, I ended up not liking it. I thought it was too boring. So we're about to get into where I changed my mind. I remembered there was a uh, artwork I really liked that had these green jungle, almost plant-like uh, foliage and some red flowers. And they ended up contrasting with the character so beautifully that it gave the entire artwork new life. So the way I did these, uh, these quick leaves was I, I made it the base color kind of a light green then used the the border effect and made the thickness at 10 so it's almost like line art and then I layered them underneath and on top of each other the the first draft was a little too many leaves and it didn't quite look organic it looked too uniform so I ended up fixing that later but um, yeah it's it's very very nice you can see I, I went overboard on the leaves and now they don't look quite right so I end up pulling back here pretty soon. But you can see adding the green already did so much for the composition. And it made the color balance really striking and I was super proud of it. So as you can see, I pulled back on the characters and the leaves and now I'm starting to add some to the background and really make the whole scene kind of framed a bit better. Added some leaves on the water on top and now an even lighter one on the background and here pretty soon you'll notice I changed the background to black because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the background white but I did end up keeping it white and I do think it looks better that way I tried yellow and I tried black but it, it just looked better when it had a light background So I added more water, some more reflections, and a little bit of water in the background to make it look better. And now I'm starting to add the flowers. Uh, I'm actually terrible at drawing flowers, even though they're supposed to be easy to draw. 
I, I get very frustrated and bored while drawing them, so they end up not looking that great. But hopefully in the finished product, I'll do a good job and it'll look really nice. So we're going to start adding some. And that is the idea I wanted to share. It, it really came to life in the end, and I'm super proud of it. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out a whole lot. Hit the bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.